Hello everyone, welcome, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jason Levine, and for this What's New in Premiere video, I'm going to be talking to you about the just announced speech to text workflow in Premiere Pro CC, the October 2020 Max release. Now these features are available in beta, Half of them are available in the public beta, and then the transcription part of this, which I'll cover at the end, is available. You have to sign up for that beta program. So we're going to talk about that. There's URLs down in the description to do that. But let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is highlight something I wasn't able to show in the Max video, which is the captions and subtitling workflow available to everyone in the current Premiere Pro beta. Now, if you're not working in the Premiere Pro beta, you can access it by going to the Creative Cloud Desktop app. And along the left-hand side here, where you have all apps and updates, you'll see towards the bottom here a section called Beta Apps. And under Beta Apps, this is where you'll find Premiere, Rush, After Effects, Media Encoder, Character Animator, and Audition. You might see Illustrator there too. I'm not entirely sure if that's public beta now. It very well looks like it might be. But in any case, these can be installed side by side with the commercial release versions. By design, they're meant to do that. There's no issue in doing that. I'm on a Windows system today, but if I were on my Mac system, it would function the exact same way. So if you want to get using these features specifically, you need to download the Premiere Pro beta. Okay, so here I have a video of Tyler Babin, our former creative resident. And let's take a quick look and listen to this, and you can kind of hear what's going on inside this video. What's going on, guys? My name is Tyler Babin, and I'm an alumni of the Adobe Creative Residency Program. Today, I'm really excited to be chatting with my new friend. Okay. so. Now, again, with subtitles and captions, most people who've been doing this in the past, well, if you were doing it natively in Premiere, it was very difficult, very clunky, very slow, very time consuming, and limited. Now, for many of you who've been working with captions and subtitles all along, one of the easiest things to do is to acquire an SRT file, also known as a subrip subtitle file. If you do stuff for YouTube, there's plenty of services that allow you to send them your video. They'll create a transcript, and from that transcript, they'll build this SRT file, which you can now drag directly into the timeline in Premiere. It's fully editable. You can move blocks around, change the subtitles and the captions right on screen, and then you have full stylization capabilities. So freaking cool. So up in the project panel here, I've got an SRT that we already created. Let's go ahead and drag it down into the timeline. And when I do that right away, you're going to see that we have this brand new captions track. All right. Now, just something to point out. This doesn't change the way you work in Premiere. It's a new captions track, but it functions like all the other tracks do. By that, I simply mean, let's say we had multiple subtitles or multiple captions like in different languages. I can right click here right now. I can choose add track and you see that it adds yet another one. Want to get rid of it here. Let's go ahead and delete the track like that get rid of it, all right? But when I reveal it, let's zoom back out here. Now you will see that we've got captions right on screen. So cool, so easy. And to review these, let's go over to the brand new text panel. So in the text panel here, you've got two tabs, the captions tab and the transcript tab. Right now we're in the captions tab. Let's wind this back and play it. And you're going to see how this is going to follow those caption blocks line by line. Take a quick look. What's going on, guys? My name is Tyler Babin, and I'm an alumni of the Adobe Creative Residency Program. Today, I'm really excited to be chatting with my new friend, Maddie, who was just announced as a 2000 and Okay. Super cool, right? So easy. Now, let's talk for a moment about editing. So again, now this says, as a 2020 Adobe Creative Resident. Adobe Creative Resident is a proper noun. Resident should be capitalized. So we make it so easy to change the text there. Let's just go ahead and double click inside of there. Go ahead and just change this right on screen. You see it even changes before I click away from the block and it's changed just like that. We've edited it. Super simple, super easy. Let's say that some of the time code might be off. Maybe it's coming in too soon or it's coming in a little late. Well, again, you can use all the same editing tools that you have in the timeline. So let's say I want this one to end a little bit sooner, like two frames sooner, all right? And I'm gonna drag this one over to this edge here. Now you probably didn't notice, but it just changed the start time of this to eight seconds and six frames. I'm gonna control Z, I'm gonna undo that, and it went back to eight seconds, 21 frames, all right? So again, it's automatically adjusting the time code position as you edit inside the captions track, but it gets even better than that. Let's bring the full version back there. 
let's zoom back out here and go into the essential graphics panel because this is the coolest part of this whole thing. Now you can stylize these in any way you want. So this is the default at the moment, the default caption look. It's using Minion Pro. I don't, I don't particularly love that font. Well, one of the things that you might be familiar with if you're using essential graphics is this concept of master styles, which you can use to populate multiple selected items uh, in when you're building graphics. Well, it works here as well. So I, if I click on this, I've created three of my own here. So here's like a white with a drop shadow. This is slightly bigger text in this case. This is another uh, sort of white default. This is kind of the more standard looking uh, standard captions that you see on televisions today. And then I tried to do a sort of a Hulu-esque version of that with Droid Sans Mono. Um, again, with yellow text. You can change the fill, you can change the font. So I'm just gonna use my uh, two finger scroll here, go to a different font, and you'll see that it will change the font on screen right away. So let's change it to something else. And you not only have the ability to change the font, but if we go into the font menu, you have access to all 18,000 Adobe fonts. So one that I particularly love that I use for all kinds of things. I don't know if it's great for captions, but let's take a look. Coolvetica, I love this. All right, now at present, this is allowing you to make changes on individual caption blocks. So if I play this to the next caption, announced as a 2000. it's back to that other look, right? So those master styles applied to everything. Well, if I go ahead and select all of my caption blocks here, let's go ahead and change the text. Let's put everything in Coolvetica. All right. And this is also where we could change the size and the position. So let's say we wanted this to be in the bottom left instead, or maybe we want to be top center. All right. I'm using the little align and transform controls here. Oh, sorry, top left or top center. All right we can change the position of these. And now when I play this back, and let's click out of this. 2020 Adobe Creative Resident, focusing in UI and UX design. I'm Maddie Beard. I'm All right, it's now using Coolvetica with that new positioning, with the new stylization and coloring for everything. So, so cool, so, so easy. Now, what if we didn't have this SRT file at all? I just erased all of the existing ones. Let's go ahead and delete this track. All right, so from the text panel here, you see I can also just import a caption file, an SRT file, or I can just create a new captions track from scratch. Let's go ahead and wind this back to the beginning, click on create new captions, and now I simply click the plus button here, and now it builds a caption block for me. So he says, you know, hi, hey guys, this is Tyler Babin or something like that, right? So go ahead and select this block. Hey guys. This is Tyler Babin, all right? Or something like that. Advance to where the next one should be. Click the plus sign. Again, it adds the time code. It adds a default single character there. I imagine that will change. And you get the idea, all right? And you keep on working. So that's the captions and subtitling workflow available in the public beta now. Everyone can access this. Super cool, super easy to use. So now let's go over to the transcription part of this. And again, I want to emphasize for transcriptions, this is part of the um, of a beta that you will sign up for. So I'm going to place a link right down here. You'll also find a link in the description. This is awesome. And again, this is really what everyone wants, which is I don't want to go anywhere else. I want to be able to transcribe right from within Premiere. And then from that transcription, I want to be able to make captions, right? Because transcription is just the first part. It's just figuring out what's said but it's all time coded. And when you do the transcription, it's even time coded down to the individual character, the individual word. So let's check it out. Let's go back to the desktop here. I'm gonna show you two examples of this. So the first one is a Max promo that I cut. So let's take a quick listen to this. Hello everyone, Jason Levine here from Adobe. Adobe Max, our annual creativity conference is going online October 20th through the 22nd. Okay, so let me show you how easy this is. So we're gonna go into the transcript tab here, and I'm going to click on Create Transcription. And when I do that, it pulls up this little dialog here. Now, all I have to do is tell it, where's the audio that I wanted to transcribe? It's on A1. I only have the one audio track here. If I had multiple audio tracks, maybe like I have the camera audio, but then I have the boom or the secondary audio, which is better, I would tell it to look at that one, right? And then I just tell it what language, in this case, English, That's the it's the language that you are speaking in the clip it's transcribing. 
and it can even identify multiple speakers. It's just me here. I, I recommend trying this with two or three. It will do its best to attempt to separate based on different voice timbre, all the different speakers in the transcription. And then I'm simply going to click transcribe. All right. Now, I'm actually going to let this process happen here in real time because I want you to see approximately how long this is going to take. Naturally, this again is still in beta, so this will change. But the idea here is that it's going to upload your content, it's going to do the analysis, and it's going to return a fully time-coded transcript, which we will at some point be able to edit right on screen and we'll be able to follow along with and convert into fully editable and stylized captions without ever leaving the Premiere Pro UI. So again, I'm actually going to let this one run. Now I'm going to do another example for you. That one I will edit for the sake of time. But this is going pretty quickly, all right? This is about a 59 second promo, approximately one minute. So uh, I've done this a few times now. It's taking about two, two and a half to three minutes to return the transcription. All right, so here we go. Let's wait for it. I'll play some background music. I want you to see this in real time, so I'm gonna let it go. This is why I've also added chapters to the description here on YouTube. So you don't have to wait for it if you don't want, but I'm letting it happen. I'm letting you see it unfold as it goes. Not a single cut. No cuts. <laughs> Someone watching the first time right now is going, what's up with this dude? All right, I feel it. It's almost ready. It's almost done. really waiting for this. I want I want this to happen in real time. Where else can you see this whole process? Done. All right. Now, as I told you, what this does is not only does it time code it all, but because it's transcribing each word, each spoken word, it can follow along, not just line by line, word by word. So let's go ahead and wind this back. I'm going to zoom in to the corner here and play this and check it out. Hello everyone, Jason Levine here from Adobe. Adobe Max, our annual creativity conference is going online October 20th through the 22nd. So what can we say about Max this year? Well, for starters, it's totally free. Yes, free to all. We'll be featuring over 56 hours of keynote. All right. Awesome. So awesome. Now, at the current state of this beta, I cannot yet edit this transcript. You will be able to, and it's the same thing. You'll be able to click right inside of it, edit the text, click out, it will change, okay? Currently, I can't do that. What is working and what you will be able to try, however, is this button here, create captions, because this is what we want to do now. We wanna take this transcript and convert it into captions and build all those caption blocks for us. Click on create captions and check it out down below. We now have our captions track titled subtitle one, and you can already see them appearing on screen. Now, when you're reviewing and editing these, of course, this is where you're now gonna go into the captions tab, right? And if we keep on playing this back, musical performances and some truly awesome celebrity appearances. In addition to the keynotes, we'll have over 350. It works really nicely, okay? Over to select a captions block here uh, and choose a master style. I can make those adjustments. So maybe we go to the default here. Again, maybe I change this to, I'm really liking Cool Vetica. All right, maybe I change the fill color. So maybe I, do, I want it more of an orange, not a, not a white, not a yellow, something like that, okay? The point is you can stylize these things however you like. Now I've gotta, I gotta be reminded here, did this apply globally? Oh, no, so that also applied on the individual instance. This has changed in some of the recent betas, so it may be different by the time you access it. Again, if I wanted to simply do it for everything, I'm gonna select all the caption blocks here. Let's go into this default and we'll change it to Cool Vetica. And let's change the fill color. Again, back to that sort of orange, all right like that, click away, keep playing. 350 breakout sessions, labs and workshops across 10 creative tracks. Just awesome, all right? And I love pointing out that, you know, for AI, it even got the spelling of my name right, 
which is pretty hard to do. It's not gonna nail it every time. And you can even see like, here's a perfect example of, hello everyone, Jason Levy Eaton here from Adobe. There should be a period because then the next block is Adobe Max. Here from Adobe. Adobe Max, our, right? So I would theoretically edit that. At the moment, it's not letting me edit this from the transcript, okay? That may likely change by the time you get this in your hands, all right? But you saw how you can currently edit th the captions themselves. It will work in the same way. Be sure to go to the Creative Cloud desktop, download the beta of Premiere Pro CC, and begin checking out the new captions and subtitle workflow. And then if you want to take an additional look at the transcription workflow, use the link below to sign up we will contact you and truly, it, this is gonna be something worth waiting for. Again, it's still super early. You're getting early access to these things as it is. They're not finished. So there may even be changes by the time you see this. Um, it's also worth pointing out too, I should also just show you real quickly. Inside the betas, uh, you'll notice there's a beaker icon at the upper right of the screen, which will tell you what's new in the beta. So if you go ahead and click on that, that's gonna tell you um, everything that's in there, all right? So it's showing you all the various things that are available in here, okay? Be sure to like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, bye-bye. Uh -huh.